Hi, my name is Benjamin Nylon, and I'd like to show you how to expose the CSS classes in the Quick Launch menu in SharePoint. Now, if you've been following some of my articles, you know that I actually put the content editor web part on a SharePoint page so that the tests that we do only affect the single page that we are on. So to start today, I'm going to add the content editor web part on this page the same way that we've seen before by adding a web part choosing the content editor web part from the media and content and inside the content you're able to find the HTML source editor where we can play some CSS style. To be able to write some style we have to start by typing in style to say that we are about to write some style, some CSS classes inside of here. And from the CSS chart online I've noticed that this class is the most outside container of the quick launch menu. So what I want to do is I want to change the color to see what will happen if I start playing with this class in the future. To do this, I'm going to say the background color is actually green. This will allow me to see where this applies globally for this class. Of course, you need to close your style tag like so by adding a slash at the end. This tells the SharePoint content editor or any code for that matter that you're done writing your code. And you click on OK. And now if we click on Browse, we can see that our quick launch has a beautiful green to it. Perfect. Now, I see that there's a little space at the bottom here. I thought I was going to grab the entire quick launch menu. So one way to see what that space is and what it actually includes, because I didn't find this any other CSS classes in the chart, is by pressing F12 on your screen. This will pop up for any browser their own little tool to be able to inspect your HTML, your code, or your page if you want. I like the Internet Explorer one because I've been using it for a while. So I know that if I click on the little arrow and go somewhere on the page, as you can see, it tells me what it's seeing. Now, if I grab the entire quick launch, it's going to go to the HTML. Now, it may seem complicated, but don't worry. We're not focusing on that today. And I can see that there is two divs here. See, if I go too high, look at what happened. The blue selected went around my screen. Now, I know that I have to start inside here to make sure I have the quick launch. And I see that there's two divs, two containers, one called S4 left panel and one called S4 left panel content, which is inside of it. So if I take this and copy it and put it in my content editor, I'll close this, go back in my content editor HTML source. Now, if I add this to the code, right, this isn't going to work because you need to say that this is for the div that was using it. It's not the same necessarily as a class. It was an ID. So I need to say that this was used on a div using the S4 left panel. Now I can specify a background color. So I'll say background color is, let's go with yellow. And of course, close my CSS. And I click on OK. Hmm, no yellow. Is it possible that the second div inside also has a color and therefore is on top of my yellow? Let's try it out. I'm going to open my HTML source editor again. And basically, it's very simple for this one. It's the same as left panel, except it said left content. If we paid attention earlier in that little HTML editor or viewer, if you want. So if I copy this and paste it, and just add dash content to the CSS class because that was the second div that was inside the container that was using left panel. And give it a different background, red. Now, technically, we should see this. Perfect. Seems like it's working. But where's my yellow? Just to make sure that the yellow is actually being applied, I'm going to just move the red container. So the, the whole quick launch menu that is inside of this, I'm going to say that I want to position it in a relative position from its parent. That means it's going to move to the right of, the, of its parent. So that's the div S4 left panel container. And I'm going to move it from the left a whole 50 pixels. Let's see what happens. There we go. 
click on browse as you can see my entire container with the background red with another container that has the background green has moved to the right of the container which is left panel where we place the yellow background. 